Hey guys, today I'm doing a daily vlog because I thought why not? I might just share with you what I've been up to. So I just did my makeup. I thought I would do a fun little, like I guess it turned out to be like Gryffindor <laughs> looking because it's yellow and red. And I washed my hair yesterday. As you can see, I have some funky looking curls. So I'm going to restyle it and not really put product. I'm just going to style it with water. I have a little spray bottle back here where is it oh i already took it out so yeah and also i have my makeup brushes i'm going to clean them So this is my hair with just the Mally Moisture in it and I did put a little bit of the Carol's Daughter Bricaxi Nectar. I'm like at the very bottom of this and I'm just trying to use the rest up. So there's not as much hole in my hair and it did come out a bit stringy. Normally I use the Aveda um, Be Curly. I always forget the name, I don't know why. So I just did a little hairstyle because why not? So I'm going to start with the makeup brushes and watch some YouTube on my iPad. So I found my soap and um, this is what I'm going to scrub the brushes on. It's a body scrubber by the brand Bowie. I found it on Instagram and yes, I have to paint my nails and I have eyeliner on my hands because I was just swatching and seeing if it was dried out. I did put it on today. So I'm going to get started and have nice, fresh, clean brushes. I'm so excited. I just realized that I didn't do my brows. I was looking at myself in the footage that I just filmed and I was like, what is up with me? So I'm gonna do my brows a little bit later. They don't look too bad, um, not filled in, but um, there's something definitely not right when I look at my face. So I'm gonna do that after I put my brushes in this Sigma dry in shape. I've had this for so long. If you guys are wondering today I played around with some bad habit palettes that I've had for a while I don't really pull these ones out um, this one is the subculture dupe I use the yellow shade fab in here it's like a mustard and peace and a bit of flower power those two at the end and then in this one I use this kind of mauvey shade and the brown and I top those with the scattered lights by hourglass the shade molten which is this beautiful cranberry color I was going to make it an all matte look but I decided not to just because I was like mm, kind of want some shimmer this is the foil the gold shade it's more of a bronzy gold oh my gosh I'm scraping some of that color it's so beautiful Here's Kiyomi. He's always matching. This is where he sleeps all the time. So I was thinking cute with our little plushy cat. So this pillow I love. It's from Target. I actually was trying to make this through more of a color scheme that has to do with this tapestry, but I figured no, I kind of want it to be warm because we moved these yellow curtains in here. So I'm trying to go off of that pillow and I want to move that into the living room. So that's a little update for the bedroom. It's time to eat. So I'm going to pull out some leftover garlic fried rice that I made and I basically just put it back in the rice cooker. So this is just rice with some fresh garlic. We have some avocado and an egg so I'm going to whip this up real quick and see if I'm still hungry. I actually have a sweet potato. I think I might have that. It's a little baby one. Here is my creation. Hopefully it fills me up. If not, I'll just eat some more. So it's been a couple of hours and I've actually been taking photos of myself. 
<laughs> I tried taking pictures for both of my Instagram pages. So my first one, I don't know if you guys follow me there. My first one is my original one, Little K Latte, and that was a beauty page. I used to do really nice, like fun photos when I was in my early 20s. Well, not even early 20s, mid 20s. I got really into it. And for some reason, I felt like I was more photogenic. Um, and confident to post pictures and then as I got older it got kind of weird and I didn't want to anymore And the people that follow me on that page are a mix of people from like people I actually know in real life to acquaintances to obviously people that just follow me I'm sure even you guys um, some of you follow me there because that was the page that I linked my YouTube to but then Two years ago. Oh my god a year almost a year and a half ago. I made my Harry Potter page and that's little Crowley Puff which is Kind of weird because this channel name is called little crowley and honestly like i really want to change it i find it kind of weird that my handle is like i don't know is it childish but i like it i really want my channel to be named after my name which is chrysler but i know that when people read it they're saying chrysler and that's not correct so that's why i avoid it um let me know what you guys think about about names, I wish I could come up with a fun handle or something. I honestly go to sleep a lot of nights just trying to think of something cool, even something for my um, Harry Potter page. Eventually I want to make my Harry Potter Instagram just a regular blog, but I know that I need to have a niche first and have a following first and then I can start posting like whatever kind of stuff on there. I know that's how it works. So it's very annoying. So I'm going to drink this orange cream school smoothie and edit some pictures and then I'm going to play oh my god where is it Animal Crossing did I not bring a switch over here I guess I didn't so yeah I'm going to play some Animal Crossing in a bit but first I'm going to work on some Instagram stuff super fun so I'm back I'm on my iPhone because I wanted to show you the microphone that I got I thought it would be fun I have been playing Animal Crossing actually so I just want to show you guys my character real quick because she's so cute. So there she is. Well, there I am. I made a little dress and um, yeah, that's the closest to my hair that I'm going to get. I have flower in my hair. So this is the microphone that I just got. It's the Ceramonic microphone and it's the same thing as this except the jack is different. This is the original kind that I got from Amazon that never showed up to my house. And then the one from Best Buy, there are three round prongs around it. And there should be two. I can even show you. This is the end of the lav mic that I use. And there are three, but it came with an adapter that has two. So that's basically the difference, but it's the same mic. So this is kind of awkward for me because I don't know what to do as far as my Best Buy return. I'm sure I'll get store credit once I can return it because I can't use it. So here it is. It has this little puff that you put on. So excited about this. So the port is right there. Fits perfectly and I'm just going to point it towards myself when I vlog and now I can just vlog with the camera because up until now, up until the last clip of me with the smoothie, it was all just with the audio. And since I was sitting there for a while, I wanted to um, film some good audio. So that's why I brought out the lab mic. So this is the camera and it's about arm's length away from me right now. Wow, so sweet. Michael's home. Hello. He's in there. Oh God. Holding. Folding away. And these two groom. I am looking a little shiny in the viewfinder. It's fine. So we are going to make, well, I'm going to make the, I don't know what it's called, the whipped coffee. Apparently there's a certain name. So I'm going to do that now. We do have a little milk frother. It's handheld, so it's going to be a little bit of a project, but I'm excited. Hopefully it works out. We have Bustello, so that's what we're going to use, and sugar inside of here and then equal parts water so we do have a milk frother that we keep in here but we also have one attached to our ninja which is unlimited power because it's plugged into the wall so i'm going to use that for now i'm trying to configure this so i don't have to hold it i have a washcloth not enough 
This is less than a minute with this thing. This is amazing. This is as far as I got with the milk frother. I'm gonna do a little taste test. It's quite strong. Okay, I just did a little bit of the Nutribullet and I think it undid my hard work. So I'm going to go back to the Ninja. We have progress. It looks pretty good. It's like doing that at this point. And I just realized like a minute ago that I have a stand mixer, not a stand mixer, a handheld mixer that has a whisk attachment. So I could have had this way easier. Um, I almost gave up. I thought that the proportions were wrong and I like, even did some research to see just to make sure. And they are correct. So yeah, I think I'm almost there. And then we get to make that beautiful cup of coffee, take a photo and mix it up and destroy it like it never happened. This one to the left is with almond milk, this one is with coconut milk, and as you can see, the coconut milk is doing something. It's doing some bubble action, and the almond milk one just looks beautiful. I made this one for him. <laughs> Thank you. We can switch back and forth if you want to taste it. <laughs> oh, it's so thick now that it's cold. Don't eat that! You're supposed to mix it! <laughs> Sharp. Yeah, there's sugar in it too. It's just interesting. It kind of takes a while to mix. Is yours mixing? Looks like it's getting there. Mine doesn't seem to. Cool. <laughs> okay, there we go. I think our ice cubes. But I'm not tasting the top part. Oh, that's good. It's very it's light. We're having hot dogs. Michael's tastes way better. The almond milk one is much better than coconut. This is quite the realistic what I eat in a day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited about this hot dog situation though. I've been converted guys. Oh my gosh, we had hot dog rolls in the <laughs> freezer. I didn't even realize. I was like, where these come from? Cheese hot dogs? Oh. Mexican? Taco hot dogs? I wasn't sure if you were gonna want any. Oh. Mm -hmm. 